Well, October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and this year the Huntsville Association of Realtors, well, they are raising awareness for at-home violence. So tomorrow they're holding a very special event. It's with a special guest speaker, but I am joined with Beth Heflin of the Realtors Association. First, I want to thank you for coming on to talk about such an important, important topic. It really is important. You know, I'm part of the Realtors in Action Group, which is part a charitable organization related to the Huntsville Area Association of Realtors. This will be our third year with the mm, event. Okay. Um, I think this is going to be the best year. We have some scenarios. We have a victim speaking. We have first responders. And we're also including an organization that helps people that have animals um, in a domestic situation because generally when someone goes to you know, a shelter, they can't take their pet. So it's gonna be great. You know something, that is something that's often overlooked because I have not even thought about that. We think about the kids who are involved, but a lot of times people overlook the pets. Right. So I'm glad you all are doing something about that as well. Thanks. Now tell me, why did you all decide to do this? And what can people expect when they come to the event? So three years ago, we had a local realtor who was killed by her husband in a domestic violence situation. And that really kind of brought it to the forefront for us. So we started this with in, in partnership with some other local organizations. And you know, it's amazing that people don't know what's available. So it's continued to grow. And you know, I think that it's more talked about now and, and we really want it to be. You know, we don't, we're not just concerned with realtor safety, we're concerned with human safety. So I think it's a great event. Um, we serve lunch. Uh, we have all of these speakers. It's in the middle of the day. You can take your lunch break to join us. And I think it's going to be very well attended this year. I, I believe so as well, because I've been seeing it almost everywhere I've been mm -hmm. going. I've been seeing like little quick blurbs on this as well. So let's talk a little bit more and dive deeper into domestic violence. What are some of the things people, when they hear that, they just automatically think physical. They do. And it's hard to explain to people that domestic violence includes a d domestic abuse. Um, I'm a survivor, I was never touched. Mm. Um, it was complete manipulation. And you know, people can blow it off, but it happens every single day. You know, there are people all around us, we all know somebody who is in a situation that they shouldn't be in. Maybe they don't even know they're in the situation, but they have to learn about these, you know, these resources that we have to help other people because if you know it you have it in your toolbox so if you do run across somebody who needs some help you have some way to point them in the right direction well, first of all thank you for sharing that sure. and i really applaud you but how do you tell some when i talk to people because yes i do know somebody who's in a situation mm -hmm. like that the big thing that they say is i just don't have the courage i'm not strong enough mm -hmm. what do you say in response to that you really have to dig di dig deep. And you know, everybody has their rock bottom. If you have friends that you know are in that situation, you can't think about what you would do. You just have to be there for them to help pick up the pieces. I love that. Well, the information, we are about to put that on your screen. The Standing Against Domestic Violence event is tomorrow, September 24th. It's from 11 a.m. until 1. You see the address right there. Beth, I want to thank you so much for coming on, for sharing some of your story as well. And for you listening at home, I hope you really see the importance of this event and you come out and attend. And donate, too. Donate, for sure. Of course. Thank you again. Thank you.